Cothinga Portuguese pronunciation, ca, a tea, is a type of desert vegetation, and an ecoregion characterized by this vegetation in interior northeastern Brazil. The name, Cothinga, is a Tupi word meaning, white forest, or white vegetation. Caa. <laughs> forest, vegetation, tinga. White. Cothinga is a xeric shrubland and thorn forest, which consists primarily of small, thorny trees that shed their leaves seasonally. Cacti, thick-stemmed plants, thorny brush, and arid adapted grasses make up the ground layer. Many annual plants grow, flower, and die during the brief rainy season. Cothinga falls entirely within Earth's tropical zone and is one of six major ecoregions of Brazil, including the Amazon Basin, Pantanal, Cerrado, Cothinga, Atlantic Forest, and Pampas. It covers 850,000 square kilometers, nearly 10% of Brazil's territory. It is home to 26 million people and more than 2,000 species of vascular plants, fishes, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Topic: <laughs> Geography. Cothinga covers the interior portion of northeastern Brazil bordering the Atlantic seaboard save for a fringe of Atlantic forest. It is located between 3 degrees south 45 degrees west and 17 degrees south 35 degrees west, extending across eight states of Brazil, Piauí, Sierra, Rio Grande do Norte, Paraíba, Pernambuco, Alagoas, Sergipe, Bahia, and parts of Minas Gerais, as well the southeasternmost point of Rio de Janeiro in Cabo Frio. The Cothinga includes several enclaves of humid tropical forest, known as the Cothinga Enclaves Moist Forests. The Cothinga is bounded by the Maranhão Babacu forests to the northwest, the Atlantic Dry Forests and the Cerrado Savannas to the west and southwest, the humid Atlantic forests along the Atlantic coast to the east, and by the Atlantic Ocean to the north and northeast. The Cothinga comprises 850,000 square kilometers, about 10% of the surface area of Brazil. By comparison, it is over nine times the surface area of Portugal, whence came its early European settlers, and 20% larger than the U.S. state of Texas. Climate The Cothinga has only two distinguishable seasons. These are the winter, when it is hot and dry, and the summer when it is very hot and rainy. During the dry winter periods there is no foliage or undergrowth. The vegetation is very dry and the roots begin to protrude through the surface of the stony soil. They do this in order to absorb water before it is evaporated. All leaves fall off the trees to reduce transpiration, thus lessening the amount of water that is lost in the dry season. During the peak periods of drought the Cothinga's soil can reach temperatures of up to 60 degrees Celsius. With all the foliage and undergrowth dead during the drought periods and all the trees having no leaves the Cothinga has a yellow-gray, desert-like look. The Cothinga is very dry place in Brazil, with frequent droughts. The drought usually ends in December or January, when the rainy season starts. Immediately after the first rains, the gray, desert-like landscape starts to transform and becomes completely green within a few days. Small plants start growing in the now moist soil and trees grow back their leaves. At this time, the rivers that were mostly dry during the past six or seven months, start to fill up and the streams begin to flow again. Conservation The Cothinga is poorly represented in the Brazilian Conservation Area Network, with only 1% in Integral Protection Conservation Areas and 6% in Sustainable Use Conservation Areas. Ecology Cothinga harbors a unique biota, with thousands of endemic species. Cothinga contains over 1,000 vascular plant species in addition to 187 bees, 240 fish species, 167 reptiles and amphibians, 516 birds, and 148 mammal species, with endemism levels varying from 9% in birds to 57% in fishes. Vegetation The Cothinga does not correspond to a single type of vegetation, but is a broad mosaic of types. 
Towards the coast, the Kothinga is replaced by remnants of the Atlantic forest Mata Atlantica. .Inland, the Kothinga merges with no clear limits into the Cerrado see CPD site SA Interspersed with the Kothinga are low mountains with uplands that are much more humid, containing elements de altitude of the Atlantic and Amazonian forests, with trees 30 to 35 meters tall. General characteristics of the Kothinga elements include total loss of leaves during the dry season, small and firm leaves, intense branching of the trees from the base giving them a shrubby appearance and the presence of succulent and crassulaceous species Most authors recognize two main types of Kothinga, dry Kothinga located in the interior and more humid Kothinga toward the coast. Eiton divided the Kothinga into the following eight categories 1. Kothinga forest, or low 8 to 10 meters xerophytic deciduous tropical broadleaved forest, with closed canopies, and the trees having a ground coverage over 60%. This robust formation occurs where there is sufficient rain and the soil is deep enough. 2. Arborescent Kothinga, with the shrubby subcanopy not closed, and tree coverage 10–60%. 3. Arborescent shrubby closed Kothinga, or low xerophytic deciduous open tropical broadleaved forest with closed scrub, where the tree coverage is 10–60%. This is the most common form of undisturbed Kothinga, sometimes called, Carrasco. 4. Arborescent shrubby open Kothinga, with the total ground coverage of trees, shrubs, cacti, bromeliads, etc. between 10 to 60 percent. 5. Shrubby closed Kothinga, or xerophytic deciduous or semi deciduous closed tropical broadleaved scrub, the thoroughly deciduous scrub is more common. 6. Shrubby open Kothinga, or xerophytic open tropical scrub, which can be composed of deciduous broadleaved species, cacti and bromeliads, or mixtures of the same. Coverage varies between 10 to 60 percent. Common throughout the Kothinga on very shallow soil or rocky outcrops. 7. Kothinga savanna or xerophytic short graminose tropical savanna with deciduous broadleaved scrub, this formation is usually called cerrito. 8. Rocky Kothinga savanna or xerophytic sparse tropical scrub, in which both scrub and graminose elements have ground coverage of less than 10 percent. This formation occurs on pavements and outcrops of massive rock, with the plants interspersed in cracks and hollows. Fauna The Kothinga is home to nearly 50 endemic species of birds, including Lear's macaw Anadorhynchus leary, Spix's macaw Cyanocida spixi, mustached woodcreeper Xyphocalaptus falciarostris, Kothinga parakeet, Kothinga antren, São Francisco black tyrant and Kothinga cacholote, endemic mammal species include 11 rodents, Kothinga vesper mouse, Wiedemys perurhinos, Trinomys yanina g, Trinomys albispinus minor, Trinomys albispinus sertonius, Thylomys carami, Daisyprocta sp. n, Orizomys sp. n, Oxymicterus sp. n, Ripidomys sp. n, SSP, 1, and Ripidomys sp. n. SSP 2 1 primate Calicebus barbara brownii 2 bats Xeronicteris vieri and Chiroderma sp n topic possible anthropogenic origins based on radiocarbon dating of potsherds proponents of historical ecology such as William Denovan and William Bailey have suggested that large sections of the Kothinga region may be of anthropogenic origin over 1,000 years ago, native peoples may have unintentionally created the environment of the modern day Kothinga through constant slash and burn agriculture, thereby stymying plant succession and preventing major rainforests from growing within the region. Topic economic exploitation People use many plant species from the Kothinga region. Palms are very important to the economy in northeast Brazil. People from this area are greatly dependent on extraction from Babassu, Carnaba, Tucum and Macaba, from which lauric and oleic oils are made from. Many trees are also used for lumber in this area, including these species, Anadenanthera macrocarpa, Zizifus jozero, Amberana sirensis, Astronium fraxinifolium, Astronium arunduva, Handroanthus impetiginosus, Tababuya caraba, and Shinopsis brasiliensis, Cedrella odorata, Dalbergia variabilis, Didymopanax marodotoni and Pithocelobium polycephalum. 
Some plants are also used for medical purposes. Meliponoculture is also a well developed and traditional activity in the region. One of the most productive species Melipona subnadida, known locally as Jandera, produces up to 6 liters a year, resulting in economic profit for the population. Around 26 million people live in the Kathinga region, and are regarded as belonging to the poorest inhabitants of Brazil. A very large part of the population depends on agricultural or forest industries for over half of their income. There are few drinkable water sources, and harvesting is difficult because of the irregular rainfall. Topic agriculture Along São Francisco River, the Kothinga has very fertile soil. Inhabitants plant fruits in the fertile soil to process and eat, sell and export. The irrigated farms along the São Francisco River in the municipalities of Petrolina and Wazero are currently exporting grapes, papayas and melons. Topic irrigation Some regions are being irrigated, most notably the São Francisco River. While this is very good news for some farmers, it has also had serious consequences for people who have always depended on the natural flow of the river. Big dams have brought an end to the high tides in the rainy season, which used to spread fertile mud over the fields creating a rich ground that could be used for agriculture during the dry season. Salinization of the soil is becoming a threat since large areas of the land are irrigated with saline water, thus sterilizing the soil. Topic deforestation Having and using all these resources has some negatives. Intensive agriculture, along with excessive grazing by cattle and goats, is affecting the population structure of some important plant and animal species. Deforesting for industrial uses like fuel and charcoal destroys the vegetation. The combination of drought and misuse of the land is becoming a major threat. Harvesting of the Caraba woodland for lumber has reduced its size. This reduction may have contributed to the endangerment of the Spix's macaw. Topic see also Kothinga enclaves Moist forests Northeastern Brazil Sertão List of plants of Kothinga Vegetation of Brazil Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Losa, Mario Vargas, The War of the End of the World Topic History Markgrave Spix and Martius Topic External links Kothinga. Terrestrial Ecoregions. World Wildlife Fund. IBAMA Brazil Nature Kothinga, Brazilian National Heritage Threatened Associação May da Lua the Avifana of Northeastern Brazil